Yo, what's up, people? One more video from me. It's crazy how boxing was only popular in the 90s. Today, MMA, UFC, practically replaced boxing and almost wrestling. I don't watch, I haven't watched wrestling. I haven't watched a full episode of wrestling in almost, in 10 years. Precisely 10 years, exactly 10 years. Because the, the shit they produce today is just ridiculous. So I would not know who Ryan Garcia is. I really thought he was related to a boxer named Danny Garcia, but they have no relation at all. One is Mexican, the other is Puerto Rican. So I don't know who Ryan Garcia is. It's crazy, I know who Jake Paul is, but I don't know who Ryan Garcia is. And I used to practice Muay Thai kickboxing. If you train me like with a, um, with like a boxing trainer for like a good six months and I have the size, I can drop like 20 pounds. I believe I could take Jake Paul in a fight, and I'm not just saying this. If you put me in with a good trainer, and I eat right, and I, you know, just dedicate six months of my life, and I get paid while I'm doing it to um, train, I would fight Jake Paul. And I wouldn't even take none of his bribes if he wanted to bribe me. Because I trained in, in Muay Thai before I left Philly. I trained for a good seven months at a kickboxing gym. Now, I wouldn't spend that much money to date in today's time on lessons, but I was told I was a natural. But anyway, um, I heard what he said, and I'm not really bothered by it, honestly. I don't really have time to worry about what rich ass people think about me or Jews or blacks or joining the KKK. I don't got nothing to do with me. But I really feel like this man. And this is just anybody. They need to have like a separate society for people who who mess up with the things they say when you say something fucked up you need to have like another universe that you just continue your life in as in this so when Kramer Michael Richards said the n-word at at the laugh house the laugh factory laugh house is in Philly that, that got shut down the laugh factory he should have like a, a society that he goes in and he just continues his his uh, crumbling career of stand up at. Or when it wasn't a really a big deal, but when Paula Dean said how she used to be racist or whatever, she should have like a food network, uh, like a channel, a cooking channel in another universe where everybody who fucked up saying something crazy or they accidentally got caught stealing money anything that's considered dishonorable or racist or homophobic or sexist or whatever they should have their own society so we just we just demote them to that society because i don't want to see this ain't no me this is not a video of me defending him but i don't want to see people I don't care how fucking rich you are. I don't want to see people lose money. I don't want to see people lose anything. Only, I feel like only haters, they they celebrate somebody getting canceled. That's just something I don't celebrate. Because by that logic, if I did something honorable that got a lot of attention, like let's say, hypothetically, during the Olympics, right? I think, yeah, the Olympics are this year. And I saw like a like a bomb, like a book bag in like a parking lot. And I called the police. And it turned out to be um, a bomb in there. And I was deemed a hero. But wait, they saw my YouTube channel and they decided to basically retract everything they said about me that was good. I I would not um and I, let me just say this. I've I've said things about everybody on this channel. So by that logic, 
if I were, if I was deemed like a hero or if I was celebrated any kind of way, that would be taken away like Danny, Ryan Garcia's um, honor is. Because I've, I've said basically shit about everybody on here. But, yeah, I, I just feel like if you say something racist or homophobic or sexist, and I don't, and it's the thing, it's not much of what you say, it's more of the treatment of people. I don't care what your thoughts are, it's more of your power, like what you could do to people. That's my thing. Like what, what power do you have to control people's lives, control them getting a job that's that's where i stand i don't care much of what a boxer thinks i care more what a judge thinks what a police officer thinks what a psychiatrist thinks someone of power you just punching a dude in his fucking face for money i don't care what you think of me it's more of somebody in position of power because it's because i'm just saying um didn't jake paul say the word nigga and why haven't we canceled him jake paul said said nigga or what was his brother i don't i can't tell the difference between the two but this is what, like i said we need to have separate societies for people that are canceled they can just go on with their lives after they're informed of their cancelization like their their um their that's not a word cancelization that's not a fucking word when they're informed of their 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 status of being canceled, there you go. Just uh, just send them off to another universe, and you'll have all the canceled celebrities in one bunch. You'll have freaking Paula Dean, even though she's not really canceled. You have um, I can't even think of anyone because some of them dead. Some of them dead. Like, um, well, here's some like past and present. Like, you'll have an alternate universe of Don Imus, Mel Gibson, um, Woody Allen, Roman Polanski. <laughs> you know, if he were to get out of jail. If I could say this person. But if Gary Glitter got out of jail, he'll be right there with him. And I would that's crazy if you can compare canceled celebrities versus uncanceled ones. Cause I could I could guarantee you, if Elvis was still alive, I don't think they would made they would have made a big deal out of the shit he said back in the day. I don't think they would have made a very big deal about it. Cause Eric Clapton admitted to being racist and he had a black girlfriend you know but that's enough talking for me